All right, episode 10 of the interview series. We're finally here, episode 10. Took a while, but we're here. And we actually are going to make this one a little bit special because we don't have a guest. We have a few guests. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Who are you guys? Uh, I'm Zalopa, and I do dogfights. I'm Kasim, and I do dogfights. I'm Django, and I do dogfights. All right, so you're basically all free pilots. What do you guys usually do as in dogfighting? What, what's your type of playing? What do you guys like to do? What is your maneuver? Like, what, what, what do you guys do when dogfighting? I stall on people. I like to fly in free mode since I've been doing death matches for like five years. I like to switch it up and go into free mode now. I do Django turns. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so, what do you think of GT Online 2020 or free mode 2020? Too many glitches. I don't know. I think it's right. shit. I think it's shit. <laughs> I think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. On the real, though. On, on the real. God mode jets are absolutely bullshit in this game. What about you, Django? What do you think? I think it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. about you, Zalopa? What about you on the real? What? What do you think about GTA Online in 2020? I don't know. I just do stuff. <laughs> so n nothing bothers you about this game. There's no Gamma Jazz, no Gamma Speedo, the Oppressor. There has to be something. Well, Zalopa likes to hide in the facility and tell uh, me and what? Django that we're bad when we can't. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to hide in his uh, hangar, sorry, and tell me a ch <laughs> and then he likes to tell me and Django that when we're getting killed or we can't kill anyone, that so we leave the lobby. He tells us we're pussies, but he stays in the yeah, hangar. He calls us, he, he calls us, uh, he calls us uh, bad because we can't. Constantly pilot snipe god mode jets. Well, I'm sorry, Zalopa. The jets like to flip around away from me where I can't snipe them out of the cockpit, okay? And the reason okay. people get god mode jets and kill me in Django is because Zalopa. <sighs> Zalopa is a griefer. That's what he is in GTA. He's not a duck fighter, he's a griefer. No, he's worse than a griefer. He's a grinder. Look at him. Wearing yeah, all those oh fancy boy. clothes. <laughs> and he's a tryhard. Look at the fucking mask. <laughs> Yeah, he even took his shoes off because he plays RNG, so you can't see him on the map. You try hard. Basically. Yeah. This is coming from the guy that got MD And he's got glasses so he can see better. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Alright, so... Alright, so let's go and describe some few players. I want you guys to give me your opinions on what you think of them. What do you guys think of tryhards? Um... To be honest... I think they're all right for GTA. I think the anti tryhards are worse because they do everything a tryhard does, basically. Because tryhards don't actually kill noobs. We were talking about it before. Tryhards actually don't kill noobs. They just kill other people that look like tryhards. And anti tryhards kill everyone, basically. What about you, Django? Well, um. I think they're shit. I mean, I actually have a problem with anti tryhards <laughs> rather than tryhards because at least you know the oh. motive for a tryhard. Tryhards. The motive for an anti tryhard to kill a tryhard. But what hey, if I've got up? a twenty? Hey, what if I wait? What if I've got a twenty you KD? Me? Listen, what if I've got a twenty KD, but I'm not even a tryhard? I just like to dogfight in death matches, and I go into free mode, and an anti tryhard comes and attacks me for no reason. You gonna let me answer now? Or you just gonna monologue? <laughs> monologue. Go on. Alright, so tryhards, I think, uh, I think they suck. Like, yeah, all they do is kill themselves when an actual good player comes by. So, yeah. Go by yourself. All X ray does is go off radar and kill themselves. Yeah. That's all they know. Alright. Well, okay, so let's go into the other one. What do you guys think of grinders? <clears throat> I think, personally, like, sometimes you don't always want to 
fight try sometimes you just want easy kills and that's the honest truth it's like when you're in a jet and you just want to kill people flying backwards or something you know and you've got people grinding that constantly just hide in the house or run away on an oppressor just to get away from you when you actually just want to fight i get that but it's like a waste of time like Yeah, grinders. I don't. I don't get them, to be honest. What about you, Tango? Yeah, I don't like. I don't like grinders because it's like, I know the game is Grand Theft Auto, but like people just want to kill you. Like, if you want to make some money, go go in a race yeah. or death match. I'm pretty if sure. If you're gonna be in free mode to make extra money, that's on you to get killed. You know, grinders. Every time I run into grinders, they're always getting followed. They're usually in an MC, and with an MC follows oppressors. So, yeah. I think they're the reason why the oppressors in the game. That's all grinders use. I, I I I think grinders are the worst players simply because they use oppressors to kill you, but they use that as an excuse, like they use their oppressors for the missions or whatever. Right. But when you're just flying around in a jet, they come and kill you. Yeah. Yeah, I've bad. definitely thought of that before. Like, they always think, they're always like in YouTube in the comments. Oh, I only use it for like transportation and for missions, but then you see them outside in Primo killing people with it. Exactly. Yeah, I always thought of that. But, yeah, it's bullshit. What can you do? They're yeah. not going to change their minds. They're just going to keep playing like that. Fuck them. Yeah. All right, so what do you guys think of Griefers? I don't know because it's subjective like sometimes you can be the griefer without realizing like you might just want to just get in a jet and kill people just for fun because sometimes when you just fly around waiting for someone to kill you in a jet or get into a dogfight in free mode it's like hard you're constantly switching lobbies for content but sometimes you need to grief people to get that solid gameplay of dogfighting you need so you need to provoke someone to get a jet so griefing is like I don't get the god mode griefers where you can't be killed. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just stupid. Like There's no challenge to it. Jet. Yeah. And even when they're in gamma, just you can see most of them just trying, just struggling to stay alive. Yeah. What do you think, Zalopo? About griefers? Yeah. Yep. They're gods. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they are. Like, you're laughing well, at it, but look at all these YouTubers. They wouldn't have videos if it wasn't for, ah, oh, these griefers came and tried to blow me up. Nah, they're gone. It's not, yeah, videos. yeah. Griefers are the reason most of these Chahad YouTubers from 2016 onwards got big on YouTube. If it wasn't for the, the cargo griefers, there wouldn't be that many titles on YouTube. Griefers make free mode fun, unless they use god mode. Yeah. Yeah. For me, griefers make the game fun, unless it's like they're using the oppressor mark too. I hate yeah. acting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I had somebody... I had somebody come after me when I was AFK, and then I realized, so I, I kept killing myself because I simply didn't want to get killed by someone called God's God. So... <laughs> I, I killed him somehow with a grenade, grenade launcher, and he jumped on his oppressor and started killing me over and over in free aim. So then uh, he messaged me some bullshit. I was just like, thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't like them type of griefers that kill you over and over when you're defenseless. Yeah, that's bullshit. They really need to get rid like, of that fucking bind. With, with, with a jet, it's like you can actually RPG it. Like, if anything, you could put a sticky bomb on the ground and then shoot an RPG and hope you kill them. But with an oppressor, you have to literally try and snipe them. Yeah. If you're on ground. Yeah, it's stupid. Plus, the thing is just incredibly small, so... And with console, you know how it is. Like the the frame rate and the render distances in this game is just god awful. Yeah. All yes. right. So this is a new question. What do you guys think is the worst community in this game? The worst no community. What do you say? Well, no players. Uh, yeah, the scar players. Yeah. Oh, what, no. The one ol community. Yeah. Yes, the one O players, very bad. I hate them. They are uh, there. What they'll do is they'll kill you one time, and then that's the last you'll ever see them. But they'll try to kill you. But as soon as they're in a, you know, a place where you could kill them, they'll go RC car. Or they warp to their facility, stuff like that. They'll never be on the map long enough for you to kill them. Yeah. 
they're very annoying. They're not fun to play against. Yeah. All right. So, what do you guys think is the best community? Dog fighters. I think the car, the car meat community, because on YouTube I do watch a few videos. Although I don't like watch every one of them or get happy that I'm watching it. Django, don't walk away. No, it's it's relaxed. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> like the car. No, honestly, right. Honestly, like, when I first played GTA, I used to do races and car meets all the time when I was, like, 15 years old. Obviously, I grew out of that and started dogfighting and stuff. But, like, okay, it's not the best community, but it's the most relaxed, chilled-out community, yeah. Right. Oh, shit. It is? It is not chill at all. You bro. walk in, you go to the car. I crashing into someone's yeah. car on accident. I even texted him sorry and he orbitaled me, dude. Look, you go to a car, uh, car meet, this is what happened. You're bringing your favorite car. You're like, oh, this isn't riced. And then you go up to them, and then they'll shoot you in the face, text you to leave. Why? Because so, it's not a good car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, I don't like those rims. And then they'll blow up your car while you're in it. Um. <laughs> I've never been to a car meet. It's like, you know, like a serious car meet. Usually, I them. Yeah, usually I just see them in... I usually just see them in Freema, like they, they go to Los Santos Customs and I just see the opportunity for a quick quad feed. <laughs> so yeah, I just drop a bomb with my Sea Breeze or Starling and then there you go, I have like six kills on screen. I haven't I know, had six kills in about five years, oh my god. <laughs> I know it's easy as hell, but still it's it's, it's fun for me. That's, that's my fun. Just the yeah. trolling. Alright, <laughs> so... What would you guys like to see added to this game? Old R3. Yeah, the old the the old reverse camera. All that right. camera. That's Thank the you. one thing I don't know that needs to come back. That just killed dogfighting. I don't know, I don't have any experience obviously. with that camera. Uh, free mode people, even us in like free mode, we don't obviously don't need the back camera as much or even rarely. But in like deathmatch dogfighters, like competitive dogfighters, sorry, we need that shit back. Right. Alright, anything else? What about user level, what do you think? The same thing. Oh. Yeah, so I also all want the oh, camera. Okay. Back. Okay, what I want back is, um,. It's kind of cheap, I know, but where you could be in first person and e easy way out with a AR or any type of weapon. Like, oh, like holding a I weapon and then just easy way out back, just like yeah, a... yeah, right. yeah, that kill killed base. base. Yeah. yeah, I've heard a lot of people want the old E well back just because of base and BJW and all those things. Yeah, and plus it helps if you're getting griefed. You know? Right. They just yeah. A lot of people say that it's the grinders fault that this shit is gone. Yes, I, I believe that. Grinders do complain a lot. Grinders is a big community, so if they want something out of the game, they've got a lot of power, to be honest. Right. Plus they have the professional. Yeah. I agree All right. <laughs> Alright, so what would you guys like to see removed from the game? Pyro. The what? The pyro. Don't you dare say that sentence ever again. <laughs> what I'd like to see removed from... What I'd like to see removed from GTA is... Um... Obliterate... Uh, the cannon. Orbital cannon? Uh, fucking, what do you call it? Yeah, orbital cannon. Because it's not the fact that, like... Like, if you're just flying in a jet and you kill someone out of their jet or... Or you just strafe someone. They just go straight to the orbital car and kill you. It's not the fact of that, it's like, you see they've teleported there, so now you're just thinking, fuck, I'm gonna get orbital. And it's just like a waste of five minutes of your life trying to, like, fly around waiting to get orbital. That's yeah. annoying. I mean, it, it's good that it costs that much to orbital someone, but at the same time, like, how many people have got modded accounts with millions and millions? In my opinion, people? it should cost more. Like, maybe... I don't know, 1.5 million, million just for the manual shot and 3 million for the actual uh, man uh, automatic shot. Yeah. I'd like to see... What else would you like to see removed, Sloper? Ghost of Sniper. I hate it. It's stupid. 
explosives. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. Yeah, one. that gun. I don't know why. I, I, I think I think that in in the series rounds, whatever you call them, what do you call them? The ones like, yeah, the yeah, they they're they're really annoying because if like someone gets one shot on you, like you're yeah, dead already. Especially in Cinderella BSC. Like if you, you if they mind. combine that shit, that's just a, it's just extremely annoying. I'm sending there BST. Oh my god. I, I don't mind that as much as the explosive rounds because if someone's griefing you with a with a incendiary rounds and a sniper, just get something better like a jet. Yeah. <laughs> a jet. Yeah. You can easily avoid those, but the, you're right about the explosive rounds. That shit has got to go. They should just make it better anti-aircraft if they want to take aircraft down. Like make the channel yeah. box ten times better. Or something. You, can't even, it, you can't even aim straight up with most anti, well, pretty much every anti-aircraft uh, weapon in the game. You can't aim straight up, which is dumb. Yeah, they should fix that. I mean, didn't they have like didn't the APC had the ability to do that, and they fixed it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there was like a, a thing you could do where if you sit on a ramp with your APC, you can aim straight up, but then they fixed it to where you can't do that at all. Just you can't shoot. So. Oh yeah. I think they need to get rid of. I know it's like I know it's good for us, but at the same time, like it's just bad in general. Like when you spawn vehicles right next to you, like air vehicles, like a jet or something, it's good for us, yeah. But when you're on your own, chilling in the lobby and you're killing people, and then they spawn a fucking jet right next to them, like I think they should just have to go all the way to the hangar or military base to get a jet. Right. <sighs> I mean, I would agree with that if the oppressor Marty wasn't in the game. Yeah. Because if people can spawn a person or two out of their ass, they spawn next to them, I see no reason why I shouldn't be able to spawn a jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, actually, yeah. Yeah, like, if the oppressor wasn't, my, if the oppressor wasn't in the game, then I could agree with that, but... I think, I think they need to remove the oppressor mark, too. I know it wouldn't ever be removed, but they need to, because the, 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 the original oppressor isn't even overpowered like we all thought it was. I know they had the speed gl speed glitch they and should, all that um, back in the day, but if nothing. they if, if they don't remove the oppressor, I think it would be a better idea to treat the oppressor like an aircraft. So if you call it in, it will spawn at a jet spawn instead of on the road next to you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Should be put on personal aircraft storage or something. Yeah. And there'd yeah. be certain set, you know, like how if you spawn a jet and the the guy in the jet that's already got a jet. He knows where to kill, you no, know, kill your jet when it's on the ground. You yeah. should be like that. With right, he knows where it's gonna spawn. You can fly all the way down to the, to the spawn and kill the oppressor before the guy gets to it. That would be alright. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, well, that's pretty much all the questions. We went through this pretty quick. Um, is there anything you guys would like to add before we wrap it up? And one of them's gone. No, no, sorry, I got kicked from being. Uh, Oof. From the session. I think he's cheating. <laughs> he's oh, cheating. he didn't. He didn't move the camera. He got idled out. Oh, no, I, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out, boys. <laughs> no. It's fine oh, though. Since, since Quasim's not here anymore, I'm just gonna, just gonna get over here. No. Okay, you're gonna sit down. Okay. At least he left yeah, the seat warm for you. Don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so would you guys like to add something else before we wrap it up? Um, well... I think that they should take the all new air vehicles out of the game. The Pyro, the Starling, the... B-11, they can keep it, just buff it. Um... <laughs> yeah, um... I think they need to... Okay, for GTA 5 Enhanced... The new consoles, I think they should remove all the vehicles they've done so far. You know, the futuristic fucking bullshit and what, the start again. And all that yeah. Only the futuristic even, vehicles, right? Even, no, even the air vehicles as well, like the the, uh, the jets and the helicopters. I think they should restart again. Like start again completely. I feel they will. Because it'll be too much, too many things in the sky, too many things to dodge too many things to avoid if they keep everything what they've got right now you know what i mean yeah. i think i think it also if they you don't have to uh what do you call it in the new gta 5 they should the reason they should get rid of all this is because then 
sometimes people might come to it'll give a it'll give someone a reason to come back to this console to fly the pyro or the starling you know what i mean right rather than having it all in one game well to be fair Absolutely. the on, the only thing i fly uh, i fly in this game is just the pyro and the and the starling sea breeze those are my thing i just mm. love explosive non-explosive um cannon aircraft this is my thing yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, well, to be but fair, I know, I know way you fly bad. them. You're good yeah. with them, but I'm not. Yeah, but, you know, against Gamo Jets, it's all you have. Yeah, true. Yeah, there's, uh... I, I know how Django loves his uh, power snipes on his laser. Can't get them. Oh, yes. Yes. My pilot snipes on my laser. Yep, he loves them. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Then it was quite a weird one, this one. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Three, two, one. All right, so episode 10 of the interview series. This one is going to be a little bit special. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you got to keep that in for the credits. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. All right, so the Charlie, neighbor's... Charlie, get the fuck out! <laughs> the neighbor's finally gone. Thank fuck. Okay. All right, three, two, one. So, episode 10 of the interview series. This one is going to be a little bit special, so let's get straight into it. Who do we have here? Guys, introduce yourselves. Well, my name is Casimir. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! One at a time. One at a time, don't be right, shy. Right, it goes for, right. Every time you answer a question, you can edit this out. Every time you ask a question, Zalopa will answer first, I'll answer second, then Jungle. The Wait, jungle, no, all right? All right, all right, I'll, 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 wait, wait, okay. I'll answer, answer the damn first. question. All right, you know what? I'll answer all the questions, right? And all you right. two. It could be two, one at a time, you two you know? just. Wait, wait, let's get this clear. Are you two going to answer any questions? If you sure. want to. Yeah. All right, then. All right, so I'll do the Zopa intro and then. First. Well, yeah, Zalopa answers to... first. Okay, jo I'll answer first, then who's answering second? This is every question, by just the way. Go, just go down the line, left to right. It's just so no one forgets, alright? Alright, so Django who's left? Are you on the left? No. Oh my god. Dango's on the left. Dango goes first. The one from uh, Riley's side. So it's left to right. So it's yep, so Dango's gonna be the last one. Oh. Alright, yeah. alright, 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 all right. start, start, start. Alright, all right, so let's go again. Take 100. Three, two, one. All right, so episode 10 of the interview series. We finally made it to episode 10, so yay. So let's get straight into this one. This one's going to be a little bit special, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Oh. oh. This, is, this is the part where you guys introduce yourselves. Any second now. You guys go first, I don't know how to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, this is gonna take an hour. I'll Dude, introduce just myself. Go first. Just right. go first and then I'll go. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know how to introduce myself. Left Wait, to me. right! Yeah, but we don't know how to introduce Left to me. right! Just stop saying your damn name! Do I say Cassie Williams and who I am or just Cassie Williams? Just, just say that, It's yeah. a lot of stress. Just, just say your name what do you mean and it's what a lot of fucking stress? occupation. <laughs> just, this is so this stressful, bro. Right, look, look, look. You just gotta say your name and your occupation in the fucking game. What are you? Occupation. A dog fighter. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, go on, go on, so are you guys ready now? Like, seriously? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. okay. Right. Let's do this so again. Going for, wait, wait, wait. So Quasm's going first, right? No, it's left to right. Oh, I'll okay, go first. Okay. Oh my, oh, oh, my god. Left to right. Left Let's to right. Left to right. Left to right. Oh my god. It, it... <laughs> 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 Quasm, Quasm, go first, bro. <laughs> god, you fucking beta. Just fuck it left, right. 
fucking Christ. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, so we're ready now. Yes. Yeah. Okay.